you smoking on Kendrick? Cause my top five is Drake, 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 Drake. Who would have thought that in 2024, Drake would make a better diss track than J. Cole? First of all, the concept of dropping Gimme 50 is honestly really cool. Artistry aside, discography aside, Drake has found a way to get more money than Kendrick at every level. I personally didn't even know that Kendrick split half his proceeds from songs with uh, Top Dog. Makes you look at Duckworth differently, makes you look at that video of Kendrick doing push-ups differently too. Drake effectively responded to every point Kendrick made and liked that, and honestly put some effort into bringing things up that he knows uh, Kendrick could use against him in the next diss. Uh, I.e. the nail polish, his pop music. Hopefully the part where Drake drops Kendrick's wife doesn't come back to haunt him like we saw last time with Pusha T. Besides Kendrick, there were a plethora of m more shots thrown. Uh, Future caught some, Rick Ross caught some, The Weeknd caught some. I didn't even know Cash XO was spending Weeknd's money though. It's kind of fucked up. Rick Ross took under four hours to respond to this shit, which is kind of cool until you realize Ross only brings up two things that don't have shit to do with anything. Drake got a nose job, and Drake called for a cease and desist on French Montana, which was probably to stop himself from listening to French Montana. He calls Drake a white boy, which I thought was kind of funny though, I'm not gonna lie. Finally, the white people have a decent white rapper to listen to. Are you beefing with Drake? That nigga's a goof, I'm not gonna lie. It's honest of you, why? Because he's half Chinese. Mm. Think about that now. My favorite line in this whole diss was the Metro line though. Metro probably mad as hell he put out two whole albums dissing Drake and he only got one line. Drake said what we were all thinking though. I love Metro but he needs to stay off Twitter and just let the music talk. So we have to have a Kendrick diss on the way. Like Drake says in the outro, Kendrick has allegedly had a Drake diss in the works for the past four years. And this is exactly what I wanted when I made that video about a week or so ago. This is what hip hop needs right now. And I'm really excited to see what happens in the next week. 2010 double XL told myself you wanna be like me. All these years later, all you've ever done is bite me. I'm like ice cube mixed with iced tea.